Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you how to perform balance sheet analytics using Tableau. So there are a series of videos. In today's video, we'll start with basic analysis using balance sheet data. So I'll show you my data first. This is a balance sheet. It is built in terms of hierarchy and I extracted this data from my ERP system NetSuite. So you see I have balance sheet and then in turn I have got assets and liabilities and owner equity then types of assets and types of liabilities and so on. So there are six level of dimension structure we have for account dimension, the six level of hierarchy, the account number, asset type and description. Description is a concatenation of my account number and my account label number six. And we have got four quarter of financial data. I'll be using this financial data to visualize my balance sheet in a meaningful format. So it helped my financial analyst to take some important decision. So in today's session, I start with basic analysis and we'll do asset and liability analytics. So as always, you start with login to your Tableau and you bring this Excel sheet into your Tableau. This is my Excel sheet and it take your database connection. In first part of our analysis, we use balance sheet. Subsequently, I show you how to use income statement all and you see your up to six level it recognizes alphabetics data type as alphabets and then you have account number it considered to be numeric so I'll be converting it from numbers to dimension when I bring into my sheet and then this is a description which you can use as an alias and you have four quarters of data. So let's create sheet number one. So first thing I'm going to do it, I'll convert this quarter one to quarter four fact as dimension to major. They are actually measures as your tab you consider them as dimension. So I convert them to measure first. Also the account number is considered to be a dimension, but actually it's a it considered to be a measure. I need to convert it to dimension, convert to dimension. You can rename this as well or create an alias of it. So you have option to rename rather than using quarter one. In fact, I use quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, four. So there are four majors to be used across these all account hierarchy. Now, I, ca I can drag and draw one or two member like this, but it's a tedious task to make it meaningful. I'll create a hierarchy of it. So you continue drag and drop within first hierarchy, first account label and name it as a balance sheet hierarchy. And I simply drag and drop all the member within it. One, two, three, four, five and six label. Alias or description I continue to be using same and we have account number for subsequent analysis. We start with the basic analytics. So I like to see under my balance sheet, I can drill down to label second, which is assets, liabilities and owner equities. And then further drill down to types of asset, current asset and fixed asset and equity and liability. I'll be using quarter one data as major, quarter one and quarter two main data. I want it to display as a tabular view, text table, this is my tabular view. In addition to quarter one, quarter two, I'll also like to display them in terms of percentage of total so that we can see what percent of current asset and what percentage of fixed asset to add to table calculation and convert percentage of total only for individual pane. So I can see percentage of total. So current asset is 42% and Fixed asset is 57% and more equity is only 2.4%, 1.4%. And similarly, I convert quarter two data as well for percentage of total. For the sake of simply, I kept only two quarters of data. If you want, you can rename it as well, the header. So you can add an alias. I use quarter one total and quarter two. Percentage of quarter one, total quarter one, quarter two. 
I expand a little bit so make it more meaningful. In addition to this, I'm going to display in terms of number as well. So quarter one, quarter two, percentage and dollar amount. Convert this into format as dollar standard currency quarter one and quarter two. So our basic analysis is done. I like to so this way I can see the percentage of total for assets, different types of assets and different types of for liability and equity. Okay. Now I'm going to extend this example and call this a tabular view. And I add an additional view on top of this called chart view. So the easy way of doing it, you can simply duplicate this tabular view to chart view and tag it as a bar chart. I'm going to create two bar chart. I name it as bar chart one and bar chart two. You can even more business meaningful name as well. So I'll convert it to my bar chart and to make it meaningful, I need to display only percentage value. I don't want to display quarter one, quarter two value like that. Quarter one and quarter two value I display as number. So I can compare now from quarter one to quarter two in terms of bar. Go to your mark one and put a label as quarter one. And quarter one label I display again as percentage of total. So quick calculation percentage of total you can use or you can go for add calculation and use pain because I'm using percent of total for individual pain and this is to be displayed as percentage so I change the format as percentage similarly I can do it this is for quarter one and same I do for quarter two I drag and drop quarter two as label and display as percentage of total. Now I can display, find the difference between from one quarter to another quarter, how my current asset and fixed asset grown up. Let me change the format once again to percentage. So again, I got meaningful analysis from current asset from quarter one to quarter two. It is grown up by almost half percent and fixed assets also grown up. But my equity is grown up and liability has reduced over the period of time. So I get a tabular view and I get a chart view. The beauty of tabular view I used over here, it allow my user to further nail down. They can nail down further if they like to do it. And chart view will give them some review. I also like to create another chart view for this to give a one more angle of this analysis. So I create a Duplicate this, rename it to bar chart. Second, and rather than displaying them as a separate access, I right click and display them as a dual access. So in dual access, the first access I use as a bar, and second access I use as a Gantt, Gantt chart. This look like a, a line. So the numbers are being overwritten label so I can drag and drop and change my label the bar looks a little bigger then you can make it a smaller as well turn this bar to a smaller one the numbers are getting overwritten so I'm going to put a little upstair upside now this makes sense so by using this, I can actually see the variance between my current asset from quarter one to quarter two, right? So I've got two angle of same data, two way of analyzing it. Like in liabilities, I can see that the difference is, is very little. It's highly we can visualize it. Um, I'm also going to use another very high level view of this using donut chart. I like to see my total assets and total liabilities and division of assets and liabilities in turn. So I'm going to create a, uh, the best way to present this information, the donut chart. I create another view of it, donut chart. So donut chart is actually not given over here. There is no provision to create a donut chart by using built-in data visualization tool. So I create donut chart. In order to create donut chart, first I'm going to create a, a dummy calculative column. I create dummy calculated column as dummy 
and the value I give it zero. Then I drag and drop dummy twice because I wanted to create one as as pie chart and as circle. And right click and turn it to dual axis. So the first one I make it as a pie, and second one continue to be a circle. So in first one I like to display for my account label number three as label and for quarter one as angle and i want this to be run only for asset and liability so i just limit it for asset first one and i take another version of this as liability and i don't want to display this header so i'm going to hide this show header and now i use different color to convert it to a donut chart you can use a different color I'll change the color to this as black and then I change the size of this so that they don't get over shadow each other depends upon what you need so the black color doesn't look so good I'll turn it to white color so now it looks like your, your donut chart but there is no majors are being shown so you can put a label over here as major and this measure should be displayed as percentage of total. So I convert this rather than fix a value to a percentage of total. And I also like to classify them based on color. So I use asset as color. So I can differentiate this fixed asset is 57% and current asset is 42.3%. I'll create a, a copy of this. Probably I'll change the size a little bit extra. Little extra. Yeah, it makes sense. Now I create a copy of it. This is for my assets. It would give a very summarized view to my functional users. And similarly, I create, I just create a copy of this, duplicate, and call this a liabilities. So I turn it, change the filter from asset to liabilities. So I got two summarize view. I delete this one. I don't need it. I got two summarize view for asset and liabilities. Now I put them together into my dashboard. So I get a summary view first for all assets, asset distribution, and percentage of total and liabilities. You can change the size and as you need. This is an highlight, so I'm going to bring it, make it big. Little bigger so that I can accommodate the complete one within. So I need to make it change the size of it. Middle little little smaller so that we can accommodate this. And make it smaller this one as well. Exactly I do for liabilities. I turn them down to a smaller one. Okay, now I can place them together. It makes sense. You can further make them of same size. All right, so this is a high, high end view, a bird view of your all assets and liabilities percentage. And I'm gonna give a more detailed view to my business user by adding a tabular view. This is a tabular view, more detailed view. In addition, this user has option to further drill down for individual current asset and liabilities, okay. So this is through which this way I'm going to empower my business user and I'm going to display two bar charts together to give us same information to different angle. So quarter over quarter, current asset growth and fixed asset and liability and equity. 
and similarly the same information displayed with another bar chart so that we can actually com compare the variance so this is can be used as variance analysis and this can be used as a cross different account level you can further make it smaller by creating but going back to your asset type uh, bar chart number two make it a little smaller and so that you can accommodate into your dashboard well so you can further uh, align your dashboard different values and visualize your data so here's your final dashboard which consists of summarized view of your asset and liabilities your detailed view in a tabular format where you give option to the business user to further drill down for individual current asset and liabilities equity and liabilities and there are two bar chart in which we compare current asset and fixed asset percentage and quarter over quarter analysis be using dual access chart so that's it for today should you have any question please feel free to write to us you can also raise your query to bispsolutions.com